Hey, it's Brandon Renus here. Thought I'd do another video. You get to look at my empty house a little bit in the background. At the moment, I'm living in kind of a sixplex meth lab. We're remodeling. We're kind of in the only livable unit. It's a bit of a disaster, but it's a good time. So every single day, I try to go to a corner on a main busy street and I wave a sign. Typically it has two sides and I usually try to post something on one on each side that is not just Republican or not just Democrat so that way I'm being balanced. As Fox News would say, fair and balanced. Lately I've had a sign that says Donald Trump for the insane asylum, Gary Johnson for president, Hillary Clinton for prison, Gary Johnson for president. And I find it very entertaining as people would look at one side and then you turn around and then all of a sudden they're flipping you off and before that they're raw and yawn and as soon as you turn around they're not so happy and vice versa. <laughs> it keeps life exciting. But lately I've had a few people come up to me and really get in my face and they've talked to me about how I am the problem. People like me who are willing to vote our principles and our morals who don't support loudmouth, disrespectful scumbags, who don't support people that are liars, investi investigated by the FBI, support unconstitutional war, support the killing in order to pursue her own financial gain, you know, owned by Wall Street. People like me who won't support those type of things are the problem. Let me explain to you, everyone the election we have going on right now. We have Donald Trump. He is a disrespectful, loudmouth scumbag who is cocky. He makes fun of cripples. He makes fun of girls if they're not good enough looking. He mocks other men's wives. That's one of your options for president. The other person is Hillary Clinton. Should be in prison. Every single person that I know of that has ever been caught doing what she has done is in prison or running for their life. She's running for president. <laughs> So close, so similar to everyone else. Talk about rich, white privilege. Anyway, she supports every single war. So if you're, a, if you're an honest, peace-loving person, which I think most of us are, she's not the person for you. She's voted for every single war conflict we've been in that she's had the opportunity to support. She supported all of the drone bombings of Obama. She supported the Bush Wars. Yeah, what a great guy he was. She's owned by the big banks and Wall Street. People, if you're telling me that not voting for one of those two people makes me the problem, we've got an issue. The reason Gary Johnson won't get elected, if he doesn't get elected, will be 100% because you didn't vote your morals and your principles. There is no way in this world, no matter how corrupt and how bad we think things are, you can tell me that the vast majority of Americans think that a loudmouth, disrespectful scumbag who is a cocky piece of crap fits their moral compass when it comes to voting for president. None. So if you're voting for that guy, you're part of the problem. There is no way you can tell me that someone who has lied repeatedly to the FBI, someone who has supported every single war and killing conflict that we've been in, is someone that fits your morals and your values because you're trying to not get Donald Trump into office. There's no way. I'm sorry. There are not that many scumbags in our country. There's plenty, but there are not that many, and most of them don't vote. So the only way that those two people can get elected is if you are not voting your principles and your morals. We also have Gary Johnson, who of course isn't getting half the press that he deserves or anything else. But I have some good news for you. If you have a moral, you know, decent compass, let's say you don't like those things. He isn't for any of those things. He's a respectful human being, kind of boring almost. He's so respectful. Let's be honest. He's not the most exciting person to listen to. He never supported the Iraq war. Yeah, never, not once. He was pro-gay marriage before gay marriage was cool. You know, he was pro it as soon as it was possible to be pro it. In fact, he was pro it before it was popular. That's how, who he was. Yeah, that's how much he cares about everyone having equal rights. Was anti-war? Yeah, he's not owned by the big banks. In fact, he didn't support any of the bailouts. 
That is the guy you have who's running for president. So if you tell me that Hillary Clinton gets elected because I didn't vote for Donald Trump or Donald Trump gets elected because I didn't vote for Hillary Clinton, I have bad news for you. The only two reasons, the only way that those guys will ever get elected is if you vote for one or the other and go against your morals or your principles. Unless you can somehow come on here and tell me that your morals and principles say that you should vote for Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump. And if that's the case, you're probably not going to like me as a person because you know I have better morals and principles than that. Let's unite, guys, behind basic morals and principles. Then people like scumbag Hillary Clinton and even bigger scumbag Donald Trump, depending on how you want to flip the coin, don't have a chance to make it in our country. Peace out, guys. Thank you.